My name is Stuart Rose. Uh, I used to be the chief executive of Marks and Spencer and used to describe myself as a man with my future behind me. But actually I've discovered that there are so many new and exciting things going on today. I now describe myself as a man with a future ahead of him. Uh, what do I do mostly? I get involved in startups, I get involved in disruptive businesses, I get involved in exciting projects where there's no guarantee of success, but you can guarantee to have some fun. The biggest challenge for people wanting to face a startup is, first and foremost, is they've got to have an idea which has got some chance of, of being successful. So they've got to research what they want to do, they've got to understand the market they're trying to get into. But the real challenge is obviously, first of all, it's a bit like jumping into a swimming pool. You've actually got to start and do it. The second thing is you've got to raise some money. And the third thing is you've got to have a huge amount of resilience because nothing ever goes according to plan. Nothing ever goes as fast as you want it to. And you've got to be able to, when someone punches you on the nose, get up, dust yourself down and keep moving. But if you're determined and your idea is good and you've got enough funding, you will break through. Breaking into any business is tough. The confectionery business is incredibly, incredibly crowded, but they have created a niche product which has got a sort of zeitgeist about it. They've broken through to a number of different retailers and I think they're on the way. The most important thing is they've got revenues. Biggest, the, the biggest difficulty in any startup is getting revenues. They've got revenues. I've, I think they're close on, if not already at break even. If they can keep going on like this, there's a really viable business here. The real trick now is to build on that with speed. People ask me now, what do I do? And I'm lucky enough now to have choice and I've got four rules in my life. I only work with people I like. I only work with companies that I understand. I only work in opportunities where there might be a, a, a bean to be made, if I can put it that way. And the last thing I want to do is have some fun. And my experience thus far with startups is that you've got young, enthusiastic people with energy, with ideas. There is plenty of fun. You're not going to win all of them. But would I invest in a business like this? Yeah, I probably would because it's got cut through. It's shown that because it's already got uh, shelf space on a number of retailers' uh, counters and it's already got revenue. So I probably would.